Hey, how's it going? This is Benny from Burna Self Defense Nation on Facebook. I want to talk to you guys about a problem that all of us are very aware of about the max rounds cracking in your magazine. I know I've experienced this problem for over a year and a half. I've probably been through about eight of those uh, rounds that have cracked just by being in the mag in the launcher. I do uh, every day carry the burner. I carry it with me to work. Uh, pretty much everywhere I go, it's always with me. So I put used to it. Uh, I, I'm not pulling the, the mag out every 10 minutes. It's in there for about a week. And I usually clean my my device every every week, every week and a half. So it's not like I'm abusing it, dropping it, you know, and all that stuff. But somehow the rounds just keep breaking inside the mag. And that's, been, that's a huge problem, especially because they're not cheap. They're very expensive. And uh, so we, it's been an ongoing problem. I even had to switch to a different uh, ammo because I was very concerned with the mags breaking in, in, my, uh, in my device and having my family start coughing and sneezing in the middle of dinner. It happened to me once, and that was the last time that I said I would use the Berna rounds. So myself and uh, Charles Woods from Mercy Less Lethal were talking the other day. We we're chatting through uh, Messenger about this problem and we both agreed on something. We both agreed that Berna needs to, you know, just better their product. But the other issue is maybe we could do something about it. And what we agreed on is that maybe the mags, they're too, there's a lot of tension inside. Maybe the spring inside the mag is what's causing these, these rounds to crack. So we both said, well, why don't we, uh, why don't I try? I said, I'm going to try this. I'm going to take out the spring and then I'm going to cut it a little bit. And that will definitely take the tension off the mags. So this is what I did. I did get one of the mags and I took out the spring and I cut it. See that? It's about an inch, about an inch and a quarter maybe. And that definitely does lighten the tension in the mag. It's not as, as hard, but at the same time, it still pushes the last fifth round out of the mag. So I've been carrying this for about a week and a half already just the way it is, and so far so good. So I'm gonna carry this every day, and I'm gonna keep reporting on it, letting you guys know how it's going, if it's actually helping, you know, with retaining our rounds and not cracking them, and just uh, a bigger expense for us, right? So let me show you the difference between this mag and one that has not been modified yet so that's how much that sticks out compared to this you all see that quite the difference so obviously this is a regular mag that you get when you buy Berna this is the one that I modified on the screen now let me show you something Berna has on their newer mags I guess the newer launches that are coming out it's a different spring, you know. How much tension there is there, I don't know. I'm not able to measure it, but I know it's a different spring. Has it been modified for the purpose of not cracking the rounds? Maybe, but if I do push it in, it does feel like a lot of tension still. Oh yeah, big difference. It, there's a lot of tension there. That helps push out the rounds into the chamber, but being that the rounds are so sensitive, we don't want them cracking. So what's the point of having a device that is gonna be insecure? You're not gonna be able to be completely feel reliable with it. So um, I am gonna modify this one too. I'm gonna to cut a little bit at a time and then to the point to where it does push the last round out. But see, if I just get this part here, and push it in, you could tell the difference in tension. And look, 
it still has enough tension to push the last round out. Let me take a little bit up. That even feels a little bit lighter. And it even, it even sounds like it's hitting a little bit harder too. A little bit less actually. So this could be a fix to the burner situation with the rounds and them cracking in your in the chamber being useless. But those rounds are good. They are good. They they crack and you could you could you pick up the scent and you're coughing and sneezing. I mean, this is just with them being in the chamber, just with a little crack on the side of the round. So they're definitely positive. They're definitely good rounds and they'll take somebody down. But let's see if this works. I'm going to try it out. I am trying it out. So hopefully this will be a fix. If some of you want to try it out too as well and give some feedback later on on the, vi on the video, on YouTube, on Facebook, you know, you're welcome to do it. Okay, so... This could possibly be a fix to the burnout issue with the cracking rounds in your chamber. Hope this helps somebody. Hope it helps me. And um, stay safe out there, okay? Carry your device every day. It's meant to be an everyday carry type of situation. Don't put it in your garage. Don't put it in your closet because it's not going to be any helpful when you actually need it. So I'm big in self-defense. I'm big in just helping people and and others you know have reliable means of of protection so the burner definitely is one of those means that's going to help you and your family okay so hope this helps somebody give it a try you want to join me give it a try and we'll see we'll give some feedback on this once again i cut about an inch inch and a quarter off the spring with you guys getting the new burners you're going to get the a little, uh, the, it seems to be more narrow on the screen. Try it out. Cut an inch, inch and a half. I don't know, whatever you think is good. Measure it by pushing it in and feel this. Push it all the way in and you can tell the big difference in how, how much more tension there is there possibly cracking the rounds. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.